I'm Jacqueline Stewart from Turner Classic Movies. You're about to watch a film from 1974 that many consider one of the greatest comedies of all time. From director Mel Brooks, it's Blazing Saddles. In the 1970s, 80s, and into the 90s, Mel Brooks led the way when it came to spoofing established movie genres, with parodies like Young Frankenstein, a send-up of classic horror films, High Anxiety, which poked fun at Alfred Hitchcock thrillers, and Spaceballs, a sci-fi comedy inspired by Star Wars. But it was Blazing Saddles that started it all. This movie is an overt and totally audacious spoof of classic westerns, and it's as provocative today as it was when it premiered back in 1974. The story takes place in a cliche of an old western town called Rock Ridge, which happens to be located directly in the path of a railroad that some crooked politicians are trying to build. One of those politicians, played by Harvey Corman, decides that the easiest way to get the townspeople to give up their land is to install a black man as the new sheriff. He figures the locals will be so bigoted that they'll just get up and leave the minute he rides into town. He's not wrong. The people of Rock Ridge do demonstrate every possible prejudice toward the new sheriff, played by Cleavon Little, and with the assistance of a down and out gunslinger, played by Gene Wilder, the black sheriff manages to win the grudging respect of the local white citizens. As the storyline implies, the issue of race is front and center in Blazing Saddles, and racist language and attitudes pervade the film. But those attitudes are espoused by characters who are explicitly portrayed here as narrow-minded, ignorant bigots. The film's real and much more enlightened perspective is represented by the two main characters, played by Cleavon Little and Gene Wilder. Legendary comedian Richard Pryor was originally considered for the role of the sheriff, but Warner Brothers objected, arguing that Pryor's history of drug-related arrests and controversial stand-up material made him too much of a risk. Instead, the role went to Cleavon Little, the charismatic Tony Award-winning Broadway actor who was also known for his work on television. Richard Pryor remained involved with the project as a screenwriter, and his groundbreaking style of calling out racism through bold and daring comedy helped to shape the tone and content of this film. It blended well with Mel Brooks' own daring approach to comedy, where absolutely nothing is off limits and jokes can tackle any and every sensitive subject. Warner Brothers executives were sure that this offbeat and vulgar movie would flop, but instead it turned out to be the studio's biggest hit of the year and went on to earn three Oscar nominations, including one for the brilliant Madeline Kahn as Best Supporting Actress. Let's take a look. From 1974, also with Slim Pickens and Mel Brooks, here's Blazing Saddles.